Look at this amazing view. We are sitting on the wall here. We have on one side the ancient city of David, original ancient Jerusalem. On the other side, we have remnants of the temple, the Temple Mount, and we are sitting what is known as the walls of the old city. However, there is a problem with these walls, which is that, like Franny just said, they divide the city of David from the Temple Mount. Why would anyone build a wall blocking their city from the temple? Well, there's one very clear answer. What's that? This is not the original. These aren't the original walls of ancient Jerusalem. The original walls of ancient Jerusalem we find in the city of David. And they are over 3,000 years old, whereas these walls are a mere 500 years old. And that in the span of Jerusalem's history is like a baby. Totally. So what we have here is unbelievable. The icon of Jerusalem, many of our viewers may be fascinating to know, is not the actual old city wall of Jerusalem. It is beautiful and it is old but it is much younger than the actual old city walls in the city of David. Not to mention the pilgrimage road, right. which brought people up to the old city. Tell us about that. Right, so the pilgrimage road is underneath these walls. So when they built these walls, they didn't know about the pilgrimage road. The pilgrimage road that goes from the Pool of the Siloam up the city of David and all the way to the temple is literally blocked and buried underneath these walls. So this is a beautiful wall, but it's not the old city wall the actual walls in the city of David. And I think we should take our viewers outside the wall to the city of David to see where it all began. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You know, every postcard of Jerusalem shows a picture of those beautiful walls with the sun setting over it. But as we now know, those walls are old, but they're not the walls from the time of the Bible. These walls are actually from the Bible. That's right, in fact, these walls are actually more than 2,000 years older than the walls in the old city. And these are the walls that people who would have looked on Jerusalem thousands of years ago during the time period of Bible, they would have seen these walls surrounding her. We can imagine kings and prophets and prophetesses and the people standing outside these walls. These were the actual walls that were surrounding the old city. That's right. If I were to walk along these walls, I would hear voices of families and children of real life in ancient Jerusalem. Until those dark days when people tried to attack the city, and these are the walls that kept the people in Jerusalem safe for hundreds and hundreds of years until the fateful ninth of the month of Av, 2,600 years ago, when Babylon broke through these walls and destroyed Jerusalem, exiling the Jewish people. And we know that is still a day commemorated in the Jewish calendar today. And I think it's beautiful to think right now, today, we are uncovering and unearthing ancient history at the same time, we're building Jerusalem history. And I think it's only proper to go get a nice bird's eye view and bring everything together. You know, I agree. We've learned a lot, we've seen a lot, and now let's understand where everything took place. All right, let's go. Okay, Jerome, so now we're standing here. Take a look at the walls all the way up there. That's where we were standing just a few minutes ago. And now we're at the bottom of this hill, because this hill right behind us is actually the ancient city of David, the ancient Jerusalem, and where all of those spots, the original ones, can only be found here. So this is ancient Jerusalem, Franny, and now we're gonna explain how everybody got it wrong. What's amazing, Franny, is we know, and it's a great question for many of our viewers, how does an entire city get erased off the face of the earth? Erased off the maps and forgotten. How do you lose a city? Yeah, like the Ottomans just built a wall and left out all of ancient Jerusalem. Right, had they known that the biblical Jerusalem was here, they certainly would have left it connected. And here it's a combination of two things. First of all, the city was abandoned 2,000 years ago when it was destroyed, and whoever was left in the city, the conquerors, moved to the upper city. Over thousands of years, the biblical city began covered with sands of time, with mud, with dirt, until it was really encapsulated inside the ground, protected, but forgotten. Yeah, so pretty much, this is downtown, that's uptown. So Franny, now, why don't you take us and show us the actual sites of Jerusalem? We saw the Jaffa Gate. Where was the actual gate, Franny? So the real gate actually is right below us. We have the Pool of the Siloam, which was the center of ancient Jerusalem. And there was a gate on the outside of the pool called the Water Gate. That would have been the original entrance to people coming from all over the country to go into Jerusalem, immerse in the pool as kind of a ritual purification, and then continue walking up to the temple. So we have the gate. Instead of the Jaffa Gate, the actual gate, the water gate is right here. We also saw the Shuk, the Byzantine Shuk, which is a great Shuk. It is a great Shuk. You should definitely check it out also. But here, when the pilgrims would go into the pool, they would then ascend an ancient pilgrimage road, which we've uncovered here, that would go up to the temple. And on the sides of that road, we find 
ancient stores. So that is probably where you would have gotten your falafel 2,000 years ago. And so we have the gate, we have the actual pilgrimage road, and now the ultimate question. We started with the Tower of David, the icon of Jerusalem. Where was actually King David, Franny? Well, like we said, he definitely wasn't up there. David was here, and he probably stood on the top of this little hill in between the actual city and the temple, a place where the king resides. And what do we find there? Remnants of King David's palace. And it really does look like a tower. So if I were to call something the Tower of David, it would definitely be that. Why don't we take all of our visitors and all of our guests to go see these incredible experiences and show them the actual sites of biblical Jerusalem. All right, let's hop on over there. Let's do it. The City of David, where it all began.